I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but, well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously though, rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... <sighs> okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? <sighs> yeah. Okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Looks pretty clear to me. I'm confused. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. Thank you. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. Jesus, is this place being run by a pack of idiots? What the hell are they thinking? I'm not sure. We're gonna need some more construction materials soon. But this place is gonna fall down around our ears. What's the word? So long. Can't do that right now.
That ain't gonna work. Yep. How did you all end up at the church anyways? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. Lucky they didn't hear that. I don't have enough space for this. Lucky they didn't hear that. I think I can get a decent view from up there.
I'm there. Gonna take a look around. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Hey, what's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people. And it looks like no one's broken in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. I'm picking something up. We've had enough of being on our own. We'd love to join you if you'll have us. You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about... <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and head out. Point. Do me a favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Zeds like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep them running. So we gotta be careful about when we use them. What did I say? No cars. About time you showed up. Let's get this show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a bust in the window. The door will make less noise. Or, hey, you could do it like a total fucking idiot. Up to you. Just get us inside. Looks like you could use this. Hop to it. Let's get this done and get the hell out. Try to keep the zombies outside, huh? And who the hell put you in charge? How about years of experience on the beat, huh? How's that grab you? I didn't realize the Department of Fish and Wildlife counted as a beat. Laugh if you want. I'm still the only law enforcement officer on duty in this town. Yeah, and if we gotta deal with any zombie trout, you'll be the first motherfucker I call. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit. What's wrong? Calling the fucking red vest. So tape it shut and keep loading. Clear out the inside. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. I don't have enough space for this.
Maybe later. Damn, I'm tired. Come on, let's do this. Okay, now try to listen this time. We go forward on foot. Zombie, try to keep out of the line of sight. Zeds will come check out just about anything louder than a solid smack on the head. But their eyesight's are shit. If they can't see you, they can't eat you. Will you two shut up and get moving? I'm not getting paid to babysit. Well, excuse me out of hell for trying to keep the newbie alive. Keep an eye on our six. What did I say? No cars. Hey, dipshit. We're trying... That's better. Come on. Let's do this. Okay. Now try to leave this time. We go forward on foot. Watch behind us. Almost out. Out of ammo. Damn, I'm tired. I'm gonna lose half this shit before we get home. I'll go find us a ride. No, goddammit! Cars are too dangerous. Just leave it. Kiss my ass, Alan. 
Lily needs these meds. Fuck you. Get your ass back here, Alan. Alan! Cover God me! Damn it. Come on, let's find a ride and get this shit home. So, Alan, huh? You bet. He's a shithead, but look on the bright side. He's only about half as stupid as he looks. Plus, he's not half bad in a fight. Thanks for the ride. We'll take it from here. We got your cyclophosphamide, Lily. I didn't see any of that meth or whatever. Hey, you said we were getting antibiotics for Ed. Relax. We got those too. What the hell is going on here? Okay, okay look. I've got this condition, lupus. It's chronic, no cure. Without medication, your friend needs antibiotics. I need medicine, so I kinda sent you to a place you might find both. So, you used me. I didn't th Just let me know when you find the doc. 